when you talk to people, certain conversations and different topics can come up. And those different topics can be something that you need to learn in that mm-hmm. present moment. Mm-hmm. And not only are you learning at the present moment, but God is speaking through you. And since you're talking to somebody, he's killing two birds with one stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so since he's speaking to me, he's helping me because I hear myself talking. And he's also speaking to you, so he's helping you at the same time. Now imagine if everybody worked like that. If everybody took time to go within, learn, and help people. Mm-hmm. Well, it would be a better place instead of trying to you see somebody growing through something and you just like ha ha I'm not going through that or I'm just mm-hmm. that's not me so I shouldn't have to worry about it but right. in reality if you was going through something you want somebody to help you right you want God like you pray you notice when everybody starts going to bad times they start praying because okay God I'm sorry I didn't help me help me do this help me. I'm praying for this I'm praying for that but you never know God can send, like I told you, God is on people. Mm-hmm. So God works through people, right? Because we are his image. We are his creation. So you, so just saying you saw somebody, that person could have been praying. And God allowed you to walk by that person because you have the blessings. You have the stability to help that person. Mm-hmm. But you ignored that person. So you didn't help them. So now it's your turn. you praying to God. God, please help me. God, please help me. You got to know God can physically walk down here and help you. He, that's why he has people in his image. So he's going to send another person mm-hmm. to help you. So if you don't help, it's not going to return back to you. But if everybody sit here and help each other, help each other, we can grow together as one. Because once you help, you receive more help. And it spreads light. You're spreading light everywhere. And once you start spreading light, you you, you know, take out the darkness. Mm-hmm. Once you take out the darkness, everybody back living in there back living with God it really is all about each other because when Adam Adam and Eve in the garden they helped each other they it was only them two so they had no choice but to because right. there's some things that God blessed Adam with mm-hmm. and there's some things he God blessed Eve with because because uh-huh. um everybody's made even though we all made in God's image God is in many things God has God has many uh, God has many purposes and many things he wants to do so if God made us in his image we're really living God's life for him because he can't come down here physically and do it because he curated everything if he if it was just God by himself he won't be able to experience love he won't be able to experience a different things so he had to create us mm-hmm. but once he created us he realized he couldn't actually be with us because mm-hmm. we like once God created the earth it would be hard for you know because mm-hmm. I'm still learning that part but that's why he created Adam and Eve and then Adam and Eve had each other and since God is in us that's really God walking around and through Adam and Eve mm-hmm. everybody I realized God is in them everybody's powerful everybody but they cover so much of a darkness right. God is light God is a light being so you're covering up your godness you're covering up your power your power you're covering up with something you're not so and, so yeah yeah it kind of go back to a lot like <clears throat> like I don't know how to decide but I'm going to say like by slavery and stuff mm-hmm. like how we um like the trauma like us black people went through like back, back then and still now like you mm-hmm. said it is modern day slavery though and, like like, though, I don't seem like, you know what I'm saying? Rich people with high class, people that has the ability to take care of everybody but decides to just stay in a social class and associate mm-hmm. people with that. So it's kind of like, you know, say like, it's kind of like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying That's to fine. get everything out. Um, I ain't gonna say that, I'm sorry. So, I will. I'm gonna just speak on it like this because maybe you said it for a reason. Like, remember, everything had this for a reason. So, I do know it's getting to a point, but it is. Know. See, I'm gonna just say what I because you know, God speaks to us. So, mm-hmm. basically, like, you have like high class, high class people, like billionaires, trillionaires, mm-hmm. and then you got the middle class people that you know, like people that go to work every day and make a good living, they ain't got, and then you got the middle class, I mean, that low class. Or low class. There's no really. There's no such thing as class because 
do you put God in a class? Do you put God in a God is God, right? So mm-hmm. God is Him. God is the way. So and, God, <laughs> and we're made in God's image. We are the way. We are our own class. Everybody's their own person. So you have your own style. So, mm-hmm. but if you create classes, like when you bring money in, somebody that so a homeless person he probably wants to dress and do a lot of things but he doesn't have the money to do it so he's not gonna be able to really express himself to to do it like because he can't go to the store and buy mm-hmm. and then you got people who are out here working every day but making minimum wage they want to do a lot of things they want to do this this and that but they got to pay their bills <laughs> and everything so they're paying their bills so they're not able to really mm-hmm. be who they want to be or because they not getting the same equal opportunity mm-hmm. like if you got a billionaire their child is going to grow up and doing all these amazing things and get to go travel around the world and mm-hmm. take plane trips and get to experience more than somebody who's just you know working every day and taking care of business but in reality it's modern day slavery because every time they raise um, the minimum wage prices go up they got gas Prices. There's almost well, there's no reason that gas prices should be that much. Cause that that. how you think somebody, if you want somebody to work for you, how you want them to get them work? How you want them to go to work? If you want somebody to work for you, how you expect them to get some good rest, sleep good? If they worrying about their bills and they come bring coming to work with all that stress. What the go? I mean, it's about you. It's a whole other topic. Mm-hmm. I was just saying, the government, they, they want us to struggle. They want us to struggle. They want us to basically depend, you know. Depend on them, because mm-hmm. if we don't depend on them, who's it's, going to... It's just some... <laughs> yeah, I, that, yeah. It's kind of like... They like, want to keep you dependent, because uh-huh. if you got to depend on somebody, you're not focusing on yourself, you're not focused on being becoming your best mm-hmm. self, because you think, okay, I got this I person to... I got the government to lean on. The government gonna take care of everything for me, but you gotta realize the government not take care of everything for you. If the government was gonna take care of everything for you, they won't be charging us. They won't be making us do certain things. If the government want us like wanted to take care of us, they would pro- provide everybody mm-hmm. with the same opportunities. Like the government, like the, um, at the people love like you know how they have presidents or whatever. People mm-hmm. love the president, but when the president get inaugurated, they only very invite like Beyonce, special people. Mm-hmm. Like if you really out here for the people, you invite people to um to the party to mm-hmm. be like to meet you and greet you. But the president only hangs out with certain people. He goes to the senate, hangs out the senate. He hangs out with people of high class. He's not gonna take his time. And go down and spend some time. He's not gonna see the president walking through the um, park, mm-hmm. saying "Hey, to people!" With, unless he's with what secret, mm-hmm. secret service. If everybody, if the government was for us and they really want to depend on on them, the president should be able to walk through the grass and everybody love him. Everybody be like, "Hey, that's the president. You gotta protect him at all costs because he's providing everything we need. Mm-hmm. He's giving us the stuff we need without having to work for it." I have to beg for it or now to protest about it because he's going to provide the needs. Mm-hmm. But instead, they're making it, they're providing stuff to certain people. Like, they really, all these laws are really benefiting their certain people. You might not, it might not see it, but they have, like, I'm not going to get into details about that, but they have mm-hmm. a lot of laws mm-hmm. that's discriminated against black people. And we all know that everybody's powerful, but black people are, the, are really mm-hmm. sourced, like really connected because everybody stems from a black person. So it's like, yeah. So, um, in that, because you have the EG. EG, you know, black people are the only women that can have, like, you, I can be light skinned, but mm-hmm. I can reduce, I can have a dark skinned baby. Or a dark skinned lady can have a white skin, mm-hmm. like a light skinned baby. Or we have albino. Mm-hmm. We we're black people are the only people that can have a range of variety of colors. So the white people extend it from black people. They just a lighter mm-hmm. skin, but everybody's the same because we all come from God. We just God walking down here in different forms and different images. Since God wanted to have many experiences, right? So he created one race. Okay, I wonder how it'd be if I was this color. Let me create this. And boom, he's like, hey, this is cool. Let me create this race. Okay, this is cool. I like this. <laughs> but each race brings their own specialty. Mm-hmm. And when we come together, 
it can be just as powerful because mm-hmm. black people bring a certain thing to the world. Mm-hmm. White people bring a certain thing to the world. Asian people, everybody brings a certain thing to the world. But we just nowadays you're so discriminated, so one side and one opinionated. Like, mm-hmm. oh, this is the best. No, it's really not the best because we all the same. We just have different things that can help benefit us. Mm-hmm. And if everybody came together on one page. This would be an amazing place. Right, It'd be and heaven on earth because we, you know, um, my bad, my but mm-hmm. we, you know, um, the blacks help the, you know, white, white, everybody help each other out. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it'll be like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, thing. So it's really it's just bit here, like they established classes, uh, money, and fame to separate people, and it causes jealousy. Mm-hmm. and all that type of stuff but if you really gave everybody like the NBA for instance almost every high school kid boy that plays basketball I'm like okay I'm gonna go to the NBA I'm gonna go to the NBA but they limit that mm-hmm. there's 32 NBA teams but they're 50 states to be honest we have enough we have enough um, states and we have enough people enough people to be coaches enough people to go to games to mm-hmm. establish more teams and they would give everybody the opportunity mm-hmm. and give everybody the same opportunity playing time and then since we're not, like, since money is not a thing and people want to go play basketball, they can really be out there playing basketball because they love it. And then they can go home to a mansion um, because that's what they want in life. That's, right, that's their dream house. Right. And this is everybody's dream. They should be able to be able to live out their dreams. Mm-hmm. It's so quick to say live out your dreams, but how can we live out our dreams when you're being limited right. with the resources, mm-hmm. when the resources should really be unlimited in the first place? So everybody can live out their dreams. So everybody can get what they really want. Like, I kind of go back to um, like living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, living, People, you ain't gonna be able to do what you really want to do. Living, you know, paycheck to paycheck. paycheck yeah. So, just, yeah. if you live on paycheck to paycheck, it's just really the land of the free or the land of the paycheck to paycheck people. Cause you gotta be able to do this. Mm-hmm. You gotta pay bills. If you see between, okay, am I gonna do this? I'm gonna get behind my bills. I'm gonna have fun. Right. Most people are gonna pay, pay their bills because they they want to keep the house and mm-hmm. everything, so they're gonna miss out on a lot of opportunities that could have benefited them because right. they didn't right. have the money to go do it. But if everybody had the money, like college, like mm-hmm. if everybody had the opportunity to go to college for free, you would think there'd be a lot more people out here thinking and building stuff right. and making more inventions and because everybody got that knowledge and thinking. But that's why you had to pay to go to college because you know who go to college. They got the degrees to go work at the big companies and mm-hmm. to go create something. They're not going to give somebody the same opportunity with that doesn't have a degree, that does have a degree. And there's a lot of, guess who, black kids that mm-hmm. can't afford to go to college. Right. So that takes away our black inventors, our black people that, that can go out there and create things mm-hmm. and stuff. But if you gave Eric to school, I mean, we go to public school for free. They, if we don't go to school in public school, they make our parents go to jail. That's so they can feed us the lies and everything that we need to. Right. Like they can. That's the government shaping us while we're little. Mm-hmm. Okay, then we get to college. It's the real information because you know they have psychology and philosophy and mm-hmm. stuff. And then once you go down that road, it opens. Okay, you start realizing that certain stuff don't make sense, like gravity and gravitational pull, like the axis and stuff. Like they say the Earth is a globe, but it's. But if you start doing the calculations that you need to take in college, you start putting two and two together. Like dang. Cause you know there's some kids out there that's gonna think about that. They know, but if we if we if we slam the chances down, of people thinking like that, we slam the chances down. People are like exposing the truth, exposing the lies. So yeah, so that's why they had to put a limit. Like college, okay, you gotta pay college expenses. You think the average person have twenty two hundred two hundred thousand dollars? Laying around house, mm. and then multiple people, multiple people, like multiple family, have multiple kids. So you think people just have two million, three million dollars in run house to send their kids to college? Mm. And if you do decide to go to college, you no know, money, you got to pay all that money back. And most mm. people are afraid of student loans, student debts, yeah, mm. and we had credit. If mm. you don't pay your student credit, your student loans back, and mess up your credit, in order to have buy a house of your dreams, you have to have good credit. So you really just. Mm. But I kind of feel like college is kind of like, a, it's a scam, I kind of feel like, because most of the time, when you go to college, and you probably do four years, say, uh, um, 
tuition a year, maybe twenty thousand dollars, and so once you get done, it's like eighty thousand. By the time you graduate, I mean, you graduate, whatever job you're looking for, you probably don't be making that much, you know, a year to even pay back your student loans. You know what I'm saying? So it's all just money. They just doing it's money. Like, That's all it is. It really is. Because if somebody, if somebody, like, so we have teachers, right? They don't just be a teacher. If somebody really enjoyed being a teacher and wanted to teach, they'll go out there and teach for free, mm -hmm. right? Just back in the day, I'm pretty sure people didn't pay Jesus to go out there and teach and everything. Jesus, like Jesus was okay. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's living from his heart. Mm -hmm. So if everybody come out here to live from their heart and do what we need to do or do what they want to do and the government gives us everything, like free food, free mm -hmm. water. She's on strike. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> free, like they just provide. Like the government is supposed to provide. They want us to depend, depend on them, right? So mm -hmm. they... They let us, they provide us with everything we need. Instead of providing with providing us with chaos and, like, fear and problems, they'll just be like, okay, this person believes in this, let that person do that. Mm -hmm. This person want to do that if they gave everybody money and thing that they needed and cut minimum wages and a lot of people, like, there's some people that really want to work for McDonald's from the heart. So people mm -hmm. will go out there and cook for McDonald's and they still be able to want to cook for McDonald's and go home to a mansion because that's what they want in life. They got it. Mm -hmm. So then, um, if people, <laughs> if people like want to do like be a teacher, they go out there and teach because they love kids. They'll teach. They don't have to worry about the school paying them because right. they can go home. Doing something they enjoy. Yeah, to the house they want. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, people really look for jobs. They say, okay, dang, this job make this money, this amount of money. I want to do this. You gotta go back to the government. It all goes back to the government because mm -hmm. in order to get there, you had to pay to go to college. You got important in order to make that big money, you gotta spend a ton of money to get there. And sometimes people that don't even though you have the talent and the skill, you can go out there like people like you can invent something that mm -hmm. could be worth millions of dollars but you don't have the money to start off right. with. So if you had like the big the, the best business idea, if you don't have the money you can't go out there and change the world you right. need to. Mm -hmm. Because they're not providing you with the opportunity. So that's another way they get you because they know there's so many people I, I saw something today that Rocket John D. Rockefeller he wanted like he wanted a nation of workers not thinkers if you have a, work, a nation of thinkers you won't have no workers because mm -hmm. everybody's out there creating stuff doing what they need to do being their best stuff and everybody's out there benefiting and helping each other but if you got a land of workers what are you a doing a bunch of slaves you're depending on the government to do this okay you government, you gotta do this for the government. You gotta do this for the government. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't pay my insurance today. I don't know if I can call, if I I can like can drive my car. Mm -hmm. So you, if you don't have insurance, you can't drive your car. Mm -hmm. But if you have a car, it should come with insurance. If you have a car, it should come with gas because mm -hmm. you need those things to survive. So if you need something to survive, to survive, why are you paying people? Why are you charging people to survive? Mm -hmm. And the people that have the money and the, the the abilities to help people, like the billionaires, the big like Amazon people, that man has so much money. I mean, he have, he you think you really think he need? There's no way. Right, one he person can, have like, a billion dollars. Yeah, there's no like. What are you really gonna do? Like, what are you? I mean, you can. You have Amazon. You own Amazon, right? So you have. It's that you're accumulating. Everybody's gonna buy stuff off Amazon, so mm -hmm. you're constantly making money. I'm pretty sure there's probably three million people right now, as we speak, ordering Amazon. So that man probably just made so ten million dollars right now, mm -hmm. as we talk. He probably made two hundred thousand. He probably he made so much money though. He made a lot of money. So if you're making that much money daily, why not give it to somebody that's you know, a million dollars can change somebody's life. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, it shouldn't be no thing as money because nobody should have to need something to do what they need to do. You should be able to do what you need to do because that's your feeling. That's mm -hmm. what you need to do. Mm -hmm. If you have a feeling in your heart, God put that feeling. So you should be able to go do it. No questions asked. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to, okay, I need this. I want to I wanna do this. Okay, but I can't do this because I need this in order mm -hmm. to do this. But we should already... It shouldn't be like that because when Adam wanted to do something, Eve, they just did it. Back in the day when they wanted to do something, they just did it. They just, okay, I want to I wanna go see what that tastes like. I want to go see, you know, where the names came in and everything because that's what Adam had on his heart. He, mm -hmm. he didn't have to go to the government. Hey, God, 
I want to name this thing. I want to name this an ant. Do you think I should name this an ant? Mm -hmm. He didn't ask for God's opinion because God's okay. I'm giving you dominion over everything. Everything here belongs to you. Right. So since everything here belongs to you, you should be able to use everything freely. Mm -hmm. And since you can use everything freely, just go do what you need to do. And if you if you have something on your heart, that's me talking to you. That's me putting it on your heart to go do this. So that's, yeah. But sometimes when you can't do it, when you don't have the resources, you start feeling anger, jealousy, envy, and those feelings bring on darkness, brings in that dark, and you hide. And so if you see somebody that doing something that you want to do, sometimes you can feel jealous. When you feel jealous, it you feel it goes back to a certain trauma, certain pain that you didn't release, and you think, man, dang, maybe if did, maybe if this didn't happen, I would have been living this life away. I would have been doing this. I would have been living that. I would have this, but in reality, everything that happened to you is meant to happen to you. Mm -hmm. It's just the way they put it now. Back in the day, we didn't have all these problems. We just did what we want to do. But now, it's just like when you have something, yeah, that's how you curate darkness. That's how you curate fear. Oh, I don't. I'm scared. I don't have enough money to do this. That's fear. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I don't. I can't do this because I don't have this. That's fear. And fear creates jealousy, anger, envy, all the negative emotions that you don't need and everything. So that's when darkness comes and it starts to that it starts to take away the light and the love and everything. Cause you think, dang, and then that's when self guilt comes in, like, dang, I wish I would have never, never did this or I wish I never did that. Because now I gotta go through this and this, but no. Everything in your life is meant to happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. You just have to see it as a positive perspective <clears throat> and a positive thing Wonderful. to see. Because you experience something that somebody else is not going to experience. So you can help and spread your word like you spread your light. So you can give people knowledge and advice about what happened. And if they go through it, mm -hmm. they might not go through half as much as you went through. They might just catch the little tail. Wind. And so the next time you go through something, God's going to send you all the help and all the need that you need. And it's going to be easy. Like you go go, you're going to see, okay. This happened for a reason. This is a positive thing. This is going to help me become this person. Like, mm -hmm. this is going to benefit me in so many ways. And then, boom, you got to help the guidance. Because you, all because you shared your help and your experience with somebody that didn't experience. And since you spread that light, you can stop other people from experiencing it, too. So since you stop people from experiencing one thing that you experience, he's going to stop you from experiencing something. Like, he's going to... You're like, you know, seeing like you just flow and elevating, becoming like a good person. Like, mm -hmm. you that's when you start saying, Okay, I'm living in heaven now because all these good things are happening to me because you're doing what you're here to do. Mm -hmm. You're doing, you come here to share, to love, mm -hmm. and to be you. And once you're doing that, that's that's how you open your third eye, that's how you open your spiritual eyes because when you be you, you're God, you can see God, and if you can see God and feel God, you find your purpose, it's your purpose, God, that's your purpose, really. Yeah, so. That's so crazy. People are like, oh, what's my purpose? My purpose, like you said, everything is within you. So mm -hmm. everything's you know, within you. Like you said, once you tap into yourself, you want to know what your purpose is. Because mm -hmm. when you tap into yourself, who's in you? Tap into God. That's why they say you have to find God. You have to seek Him. You have to go in within and seek yourself. You have to seek because you're in the darkness right now. That's you got to come to the light. You have to seek the light, and the light is within you. So. Yeah, you have to seek. Go find them. Open your eyes. Open your eyes to your true self. Open your eyes to your true potential. I don't think I'm